prayer to Father, I ask him, Father, do you have anything for the church? Father, learn to listen to me intently. Free your mind from all doubt and impure thoughts as you seek me. For the moment you let any negative thought come in, the enemy uses that as a stepping stone to intercept our time and distract you from listening to me and urging into your own thoughts and will pattern. My voice is your anchor. Allow me to lead you into a good path filled with green pastures, still waters to refresh and rejuvenate your soul. Keep my righteousness within you as I am within you. My Holy Spirit will always whisper to your soul what is right and good to do in action and behaviour, but the devil will also try to mislead you. Be very careful, my children, in whose voice you will respond to. For I've seen many souls create mistakes and acted in ways that is not part of my pure love. My pure love will never condemn another soul. My pure love will act with compassion, kindness, filled with forgiveness and mercy, continuing in grace, truth and humility. Souls working in pure love will practice their patience, self-control of their sharp tongue to others, bringing in conversation of holiness, softness of heart, gentle of spirit. When we move in these virtues, we are able to be at peace with one another. This is how I am refining you and purifying you for others. I must warn you though, my beloved gems, whom I value and cherish each moment of your days. Learning and experiencing these virtues is great in itself, but alongside this, attacks will come upon you. One, from demonic forces, whom seek out to destroy you and destroy the path you are on to take you from that path. Another from your most closest of friends and family. Take heed in this revelation. For even brothers, your father's house, even they will betray you. Even they will shout after you. Have no confidence in them. Even if they say nice words to you, a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be members of his own household. With this in mind, my children, safeguard your family from trouble or harm to your relatives. Provide for your family because if you don't, you reject the faith and are worse than someone who does not believe in me.